Hello, I'm Jessica Michelson, math support teacher at Duckett's Lane Elementary School, and this is Math in Minutes. Today we're going to be talking about elapsed time. That is when a specific activity starts, how much time has gone by, and when that activity ends. If we choose to use an analog clock when doing this, it's often challenging to keep track of the time that's gone by, where we initially started, or where we're supposed to end up. So we choose to use a linear model sometimes in the classroom, such as a number line, to help us with this. Let's look at a problem. Let's look at how we can use both a clock and a number line to solve a problem. Mike started reading at 8.30 p.m. and read for two and a half hours. At what time did Mike stop reading? We can first use our clock by setting it to 8.30 and then add our two and a half hours. One hour two hours, and a half hour. So Mike stopped reading at 11 o'clock. We can also use an open number line to show this. If Mike started reading at 8.30, I can do a jump of an hour to land at 9.30, another hour to show 10.30, and then jump 30 minutes to 11 o'clock, both showing that Mike stopped reading at 11 o'clock. While both tools work, the linear model helps us keep track of the time that has gone by. Now let's take a look at another problem. Sanjay ended practice at 7.15 and started practice at 5.30. How long was Sanjay's practice? One way we can show this is by starting our number line at his start time of 5.30 and his end time at 7.15. We can jump forward to figure out the elapsed time. So I'm going to jump one hour from 5.30 to 6.30, a half hour from 6.30 to 7, and then 15 minutes from 7 to 15. I can then add all three times up to come up with my elapsed time. One hour, one hour and 30 minutes, one hour and 45 minutes. So Sanjay's practice was one hour and 45 minutes. I can also look at this another way by jumping backwards. So I can look at my end time of 7.15 and start there and jump back to 5.30. I could jump back one entire hour to 6.15, jump back 15 minutes to 6 o'clock, and then jump back 30 minutes to 5.30. I can then add up all my times again to come up with one hour and 45 minutes. As you can see, the number line helps us to easily keep track of the time that has gone by. While both the clock and the number line work, a number line is easy to draw and always available. Now let's take a look at one last problem. A train leaves Chicago at 4.13 and travels for 6 hours and 28 minutes to St. Louis. At what time does it arrive in St. Louis? So we can start on our number line at 4.13 and take a giant jump of six hours to 10.13. This would have taken much longer to do on an analog clock. Then we need to add our 28 minutes. So I'm going to add 20 minutes to end up with 10.33 and then do eight jumps. So that ends up being 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 1041. The train arrives at 1041. This has been a look at elapsed time on a number line. See you next time on Math in Minutes.